the pleasure that a person gets in the physical world, Kosh Baruch Hu, is very much mach of that. Kosh Baruch Hu, and this is what Chazal teaches, that Kosh Baruch Hu does not want us to be deprived of the physical world. Kosh Baruch Hu wants us to enjoy the physical world. And when we, mod- we moderate ourselves, and we do it for the right reasons, and we don't indulge, and we have the Kedusha in our minds that we are doing this for the sake of mitzvah, then not only is it elevated, not only is it a day like Purim, not only is it, is it on the highest levels, but it's the most enjoyable. And I think it's so critical for us because Rabbi said, you are living in a world, we are living in a world, where what the message is, you want to be a Torah Jew, I listen, okay, you got to be a Torah Jew, what can you do? We believe in Maimon Har Sinai, we believe in mitzvah, so we, we really have no choice, but oh, look at, look at Beverly Hills, Look at Melrose, look at the world, my gosh, they're indulging, they're partying on, they're doing everything they want to do, and we have to suffer. No. Rabbi Sai, no. That is not the truth. It's a lie. It's a mirage. And we cannot give and buy into that absolute fallacy. The Chavetz Chaim is so, is so brilliant when he analyzes the words that we say, when we make you see him. And we say, we say, What an incredible kasha that the Chavetz Chaim asks. We run and they run. We run for eternity and they run into the pit of destruction. That's not what it should say. It should say, we run to Olam Abah and they run to Olam Azeh. They are looking for physicality. And that's their world. We are looking for spirituality. That's our world. We want eternity. And they want immediate gratification. So those are the two worlds. That should be the contrast. Levei shachas? To a, a bottomless pit of destruction? Say it the way it should be. Contrast it the proper way. And he says, Rabbi Isai, Chazal is contrasting it the proper way. It is exactly those two options. Because when you are running for physicality, if all you're thinking about is the next party on Saturday night, and what are you going to do this way and that way, and all the different things that are going on in the world, and, and the Baruch Hashem that, that we hopefully are sheltered from this stuff. But all of the indulgence that's happening in the world, that the, Torah, that the, that the secular world says, go ahead, dive in. Look at the, the, uh, the, the so-called heroes in the world, the rapsters. Oh my gosh, yeah, a rapper is, uh, you know, shows up somewhere. Oh my, everyone's uh, clamoring. And these, these people are running where they're running to. The Chavitz Chaim says, if you're running for that, you'll never have it. They're not, they can't, you can't say they're running to Olam Hazer. They don't have Olam Hazer because they're miserable because they keep wanting more and more and more and it never stops. The indulgence never stops. That guy on his eighth plate, he's not happy. He's maybe happy for the moment. He's not happy and two hours later, he's not going to be happy. When he, when he feels that, that pit in his stomach or that pain in his stomach and the, and the overall life of not being able to control yourself, you ask an addict, Rahman al-San, if he's happy, he's miserable. He might, he, he might seem happy because, oh, another, another fix or another this or another that, another bet, another, another credit card, whatever the, the addiction might be. As you're going through, oh, it's a thrill, it's a thrill, and all the things going on in your head, it's, it's great. Another computer, another this, another that. He's happy, he's miserable. He's in the pit of destruction because he can't control himself. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I'm giving you the key. This is holiness. You take the physical world and you elevate it. 